Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. First of all, please excuse the hot mess that is my face right now. Um, I am breaking out really, really bad at the moment and um, my hair is a bit of a mess so that's why it's pulled back and then my nails are chipped and it's really embarrassing because I hate chipped nails but I haven't, I honestly haven't had the time to actually take them off. So please do not crucify me. Um, but the reason um, I, I'm doing this video for you guys is because I'm actually very much inspired by the Instagram giveaway that we are currently running so if you didn't know about it go and check out my instagram basically i am collaborating with all of my favorite luxury instagrammers to do a one thousand dollar gucci gift card giveaway so if you want to know a little bit more about it um go and check out my instagram i won't mention too much more but check out my instagram to enter so sticking to that topic the item that i will actually be reviewing and doing a lookbook on is actually my gucci princetown loafers yes i know these are the cult favorite gucci loafers so I actually purchased mine in 2016, I think, so I've owned them for two years, and I thought I would give you guys a two-year wear and tear slash review. Um, I do have the sling back ones, so I have the ones with the elastic on the back. I purchased this from the Gucci store in Sydney, um, and I purchased this for 690 Australian dollars at the time. Now they have gone up in price, so I will tell you if I think they're still worth the price. So first of all, do I like them? Yes and no. I actually have very, very mixed feelings about these loafers. One being I do love the style, like I love them on other people. I absolutely love how they look and I am glad that, that I do have it. Like, let's be honest, I am glad that I do have it and I kind of want another one. But some days I just think, I don't think I can pull, pull them off. It's like some days I actually think that they don't look very flattering on me. Like I could reach for another pair and be perfectly content. So I do actually have um, alternatives to these, um, like the Tony Bianco ones, which I have raved about and I love those. But for some reason, I think that they look better on me than these ones. So I don't know what's going on with that. I think it might be the fact that I may have got I may have purchased these in a size too small. I got it in a 35 and a half. And I think a lot of people who do own these are suggesting everyone go true to size or a size bigger. And I didn't know that at the time. And I just purchased a size smaller. I'm normally 36 because I figured the ones that I do have are the sling backs. And I was worried that maybe these elastics, this sling here would lose its elasticity. And I didn't want it to be very very loose and I just figured leather loafers they will get bigger um, you know they will um, sort of stretch so I thought sizing down was going to be the best option for me but I feel like maybe they're a little bit too tight on my feet and that's why I don't love how they look um, I'm not a hundred percent sure but then sometimes I love them so it's really bizarre so I do apologize for being you know a little bit undecided with that I do want to say though I'm pretty impressed that these um, slings or the this elastic hasn't sort of stretched out too much um, bear in mind I haven't worn the, these a great deal it's not something I wear on a day-to-day -day basis I've worn them maybe a handful of times but you know these have remained very very sturdy so um, so I'm pleased about that now in terms of how they feel their comfort they they are very very comfortable like the first time I put them on it was like heaven on my feet it was like I was walking on clouds like the material that they use to line this is amazing it's just pure luxury like that's when you can tell that you know you've paid really good money for the shoes that you're wearing you can really tell the difference between these pair of shoes and like the other leather loafers that I do own they're both leather but the the, the type of material that they use for this is just unparalleled so I do think that in terms of luxury, you do feel like you get your money's worth. Uh, but in terms of like longevity or wear and tear, I am slightly disappointed. I don't know if it's the way that I walk and if I walk a little bit funny compared to other people, but I do have scuffs. Um, I have a massive scuff, in fact, over there. Um, I don't know if it's because I drag my feet, but honestly, um, I think it's fine. Like... 
their, their shoes, they're going to have a bit of wear and tear because I got them in the black. They don't um, look so bad. And I think if I just shine them up and polish them, they look, they'll look fine. Um, but I am a little bit disappointed, especially since there is a bit of leather that's actually come off. Um, now, I haven't sold them just yet, so I will do that. Um, but the first time I wore them, they were quite slippery. So um, typically you need to wear them out, wear them down a little bit so that when you put the sole on, it sticks. So that's the reason why I didn't sole them straight away. In terms of ease of styling, I do find these sometimes tricky to wear. Like, I don't know, I'm a bit funny sometimes because I'm short, like I can't just wear footwear and then just walk out the door. I have to really calculate what I'm wearing and how I style them. So I do think that these look amazing with like, um, with straight leg jeans, mum jeans, they're easy. You can wear them with that and you're out the door. But to pair them with dresses or skirts or like, you know, other pairs of pants, it's just a little bit trickier. Um, so I'm actually going to be doing a lookbook in the second half of this video. So stay tuned for that. And I partly did that as well to get some inspiration for myself as to how to style them because I do really, really love the look of them. And I do like, this is what I mean, like I love the look of them and I love them on other people. So I want to wear them all the time. But then sometimes it's just a bit like hit or miss how like how they look price i think when i purchased them was reasonable i purchased this for 6.90 and i thought yeah that's a that's a steal like i am more than happy to pay that but now they have gone up in price they're about 900 dollars. so it's like 200 dollars more in in a way that's already another pair of shoes maybe not designer but like a good quality pair of leather shoes so you know are they worth it? I don't actually know. <laughs> like, I do think that if you love loafers, if you are a loafer person, Gucci is your go-to loafer. Like, you know, like how Chanel flaps, like the, the flat bags are typically Chanel. Canvas bags are Louis Vuitton. Um, trench coats are Burberry. I feel like loafers are Gucci. Like, you know, this is, this is their thing. So, I do think they're classics. They will definitely, like in terms of the style, they're gonna last a very, very long time. You don't have to worry about that. Um, and I think, I guess for the price, I, I think that they're not too bad, con you know, considering like Chanel Espadrilles cost about, you know, $860. They're roughly the same price. So it's, you know, kind of on par and they're, they're loafers. You can wear them for work. You can wear them any any occasion really. and. This particular style I do still prefer, I but I kind of want a slipper version as well, and I really want one in a bigger size. So I think I think that's the reason why this seems a bit off to me, to be honest. Um, but the reason I really like this also is because you can actually push this in, and it can be a slipper. Um, I think if I did eventually want to convert it to that, I'd have to cut it off. Um, but I, for the time being, I'm happy with how they are as slip-ons. Slip They're just sort of different with a bit of a twist. So, yeah. All right, so that is it, guys. That is my lookbook and review on these gorgeous, gorgeous Gucci Prince Town loafers. Bottom line, I do feel like they're, that they are overhyped a little bit. For some reason, these particular ones, they're a hit and miss for me. But as I said, I think it's because I got one size too small. And so they're just a little bit too tight on my feet and doesn't quite look right. I still really want another pair. And so that shows you how much, how I truly feel about them. I feel like if I got maybe a bigger size that they would work better. I don't regret buying them at all. I do think that they're a classic. And if you are a big shoe person or a loafer person, you definitely need to get one in your collection. Um, but at the same time, there are really, really good dupes out there that have, have been really happy to own. For example, the ones from Tony Bianco and I will Put links to that in the info bar that is it from me you guys if you haven't seen my instagram giveaway yet i will put all the details in the info bar and you know my link to my instagram so go and check it out anyways that is enough rambling from me um i will now move on to the lookbook so if you want to see how i style these loafers do stay tuned all right so for the first outfit i've actually gone with something pretty um basic so this one is just a simple suit outfit from h&m and i've just paired it with the loafers as a very simple sort of workwear outfit teamed this one with my alma bb and i just think the whole thing looks really cute so yeah
second outfit I've gone a bit more relaxed and laid back a bit more of like athleisure vibes just to show how you can wear it quite casually teamed it with these pants from Zara with the side strap detail um, and they have like a straight leg look to them and then the top is from ASOS it's actually jersey material and then just to add to the whole look I've worn my Chanel walk um, and that's my second outfit Now moving on to my third outfit, this is probably one of my favourites, um, very easy casual vibes, just paired Topshop pants with a plain shirt, leather jackets from Zara and of course wearing a Gucci bag with my Gucci loafers. I actually have a reveal on this Gucci bag so I will put a link to that in the info bar. I just love this whole outfit. I think if you pick in like quite neutral tone it makes the whole look a lot more coherent and as I said I just love styling these shoes with like straight leg mum jeans. I just think it looks so easy and flawless. Now this fourth look is a little bit more sort of um, loose, carefree, laid back, a um, bit more of a winter outfit and fitting for anyone who's really into like oversized um, outfits. So we've got a really oversized pair of culottes and jumper, the mango net bag which looks like the stored bags, love it. I'll put a link to that one in the info bar as well. Um, definitely more man repelling um, but I really like it. Personally I think it's really hard to pull off when you're petite but looks good on other people if you're a bit taller. Now moving on to my last outfit. Um, this outfit I've worn with a skirt. The skirt's actually from H&M also. I got on sale, teamed it with my Louis Vuitton Noe GM bag, oversized sleeveless blazer and an oversized sleeveless high neck knit. I really like this look too. Really hard sometimes I find to find to style those loafers with a skirt but this is just another outfit idea for you guys. Mm -hmm. 